as umpire Ross Capes bounces the ball for the 1981 Grand Final. Claremont kicking to the left of the screen and Rioli takes the first kick. It's a high one, straight up in the air. Beecroft underneath it. Oh, the bar's been paid. Oh, and there's 50 cuffs already as Campbell came into it. The opening minute of play here in the league grand final. And there's about 20 players into it as Beecroft took that knock. Campbell came into him. So what a grand final it's going to be. There's players in it all over the ground. Notice that Stephen Michael went in to call Jimmy Cracker. The game started at a pretty frenetic pace with um, with the first centre bounce and Boyle Barry Beecroft uh, being KO'd. Um, fights broke out all over the ground um, and uh, myself and Stephen Michael um, tried to calm things down as much as possible. But uh, once those things settled down, the game uh, went into, uh, fell into place and uh, the pace of the game from, from going to away was, uh, was fantastic and uh, obviously the result was ours. So was, was well, Bob, you've been uh, calling since 1964 in grand finals. Have you ever seen an opening like this? I have not seen an opening to a grand final like this, and the game is on for sure. Graham Moss coming in to try and fight these players down, and that's how much the players are keyed up. Yeah, there were some great players that played in that game on both sides, and uh, we wanted them to play football rather than get involved in, in uh, fighting. So the game settled down, and um, it was a great game of football. It was fast. Um, yeah, I, I put that game up against any AFL game, particularly these days, and uh, for the quality of the, of the play, the, the high marking, the, the, um, the flow on football, the long kicking, uh, the contests, um, the goals that were scored, uh, it was all fantastic. I think we were determined to win um, after a disappointing year the year before. We, we played very good football in 1980, but crashed out in the first semi-final, so I think we all made a pact at the beginning of 1981 to, to make this make it a premiership that year. So the build-up was quite quite large. Um, we got into the grand final. Um, we knew there was going to be a big crowd outside. We were out on the ground. South Fremantle had won the, the uh, premiership the year before. Um, they probably started favourites, I'm not sure, but um, we were determined to win. And uh, Well, winning a premiership is the ultimate. Um, any footballer will tell you that. And uh, it's something that we, we uh, remember forever. Um, uh, football. When you're playing, when you're actually playing football, uh, you probably don't appreciate what it's going to mean later on in life. Um, so now, 40 years on from that that day, here we are celebrating again. Um, but the friends you make make during the during the, the journey uh, are lifelong, particularly the premiership wins. And uh, I've always followed Claremont as a you know, 10 year old, and to be a part of the club's history um, as a player, a coach, and an administrator in later life has been fantastic.